Hey guys, Jared Trunks 21 here, recording episode, I think it's 8 of the Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. Just so you guys know, it is going up, it went up yesterday. I'm recording this on uh, Wednesday. The edited version of my Pokemon team, it is edited with a new type of editing software. Uh, my cousin Randy was very generous. She told me a editing software that was for free that, by what I can tell, does everything Adobe Premiere does, but it's free. So I edited the video. It took me a while to figure it out. I can get it all edited and exported so I could upload it. But I'm going to show you guys what this editing software is real quick. Let me exit it. It's right here. Open Shop Video Editor. So it is uh, edited on my channel. Of course, all of our videos are going to be 45 minutes for these Let's Plays. But we'll be able to edit stuff in. Of course, we've also got some music and all the other nice stuff. So I'm going to make sure that before this part opens up, this little intro right here, there's going to be like a five-second intro uh, clip where it is... Uh, some kind of animated intro. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But we're going to get started here. So that is our starting animation. Let me um, close that out here. So I hope you guys went and watched that. Uh, I did work really hard on that. So... Let me play our music here. This is of course the most destroyed I rush by from carbon, so. As you guys remember last time we beat the 8th gym, we beat our rival, and we were headed on our way to battle the Elite Four. Um, crap. I'll have to sit still for a minute, so. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Starting the 45 minute timer now. So I have to sit still for a minute. So, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Of course, with YouTube changing its, uh, monetization policy, uh, a lot of the stuff that I wanted to get done for the channel this year might not get done. We might not have new tech. We might not have a lot of the stuff that we wanted to get done. Um, so, what it comes down to is just potluck what we get done this year. But I'm hoping... This is just going to be mostly for fun, so it is a hobby right now for me, so. Okay, we can start now. So, let me put something on the TV just so when I look up, I'm actually looking at something. Normally, I'd have something playing on my phone, but I don't right now, so. Oh, that is the boulder badge. Right ahead. Cool. Yeah. I'm just gonna skip these guys, because none of them actually battle you. They're just here to check your badges. So whenever I come up to one, I'm just gonna press the little speed up button here. Of course, as you guys remember, we've got the... wonderful team of Pokemon. But we're going to be using this area right here to just practice and train up those members of our team in need of training. Yes, I have the Volcano Badge done, though. I wouldn't have got this far if I didn't have it. Remember when I was younger, I actually did try this. I uh, I came here, I came to this area, but after I collected the badge to get the Surf HM and got all the way to I think Blaine's gym, and I just skipped Blaine and I skipped the eighth gym and I went to um, 
I went and I just did that. I just didn't even do the rest of the stuff that you needed to do for this place. Some of our team has died recently, but I haven't counted it. If you guys have been watching the other videos, you know that. If not, then just ignore what I'm saying. I'm probably gonna get like, confused with the. Um, I'm probably gonna have to fly out of here and get more max repels. Right, let's actually do that. Let's, uh, let's fly out of here and come get some max repels. some t uh, revives on my trip here to the uh, Leaf 4, because if I don't, it is just going to suck, because what it ultimately comes down to is, with the item clause, I can use any item I find, so if I find 7, 8 max revives on my way to the Elite 4, that means that I have those items to use in the Elite but if I don't find them, well, that puts me at a disadvantage. That, because most people will buy revives unless they're really overleveled before they go to battle the elite for that little Pokemon, Pokemon Center. I, on the other hand, do not have that luxury as I'm not allowed to use revives unless I find them. So I can buy all the healing items I want. Which I probably will. If I don't find any of these, any of what I need, I'm gonna have to buy a lot of he healing items like hyper potions and max potions and full restores and all that other nice jazz. See, I already played through once with a red randomizer Nuzlocke, and um, in that one I went into this with a uh, Mewtwo and a uh, two Uda, two Alakazams as well as a uh, grab bag assortment of other Pokemon. So I had a really good team going into it the last time I did it. This time around, I don't have that luxury. I have a relatively average team of a couple of Alakazam, two Alakazams, a Zapdos, a Machamp that's seriously underleveled, a uh, Dratini that's seriously underleveled, and a B that is just a laughing stock. Like, if it managed to kill something in the Elite Four, I think the Elite Four would need to be recertified. That just. that shouldn't even be possible. Okay. Uh, you get two different items here. I'm actually gonna do it so I get both of them. What is TM? Sable! Why? Why is that a thing? One perk of this, after you open this up once, you don't have to do it again. Which is really nice. And now you guys see why I bought like a whole bunch of these max repels, because I am going to be running around this place collecting as many items as I can. Damn it. Are there benefits of not being monetized? I keep finding more of those. Um, I can custom my videos. I can literally replace every other word with damn, fuck, shit, bitch, slut, fuck, 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 damn, shit, fuck. But I'm not gonna do that. Just did it, but you guys get what I mean. I have a more inclusive vocabulary for myself because I don't have to worry about being demonetized. So 
guess that's one good thing about not having monetization. I'd still prefer it so I could buy stuff for the channel. But, I can make do. Hopefully, uh, I have applied at a couple of places around my house. Hopefully one of them will call me back. And I'll be able to save up the hundred and sixty some odd dollars I need to buy a game capture card. Recover. Recover. Haha, I went down, bitch. I will be able to buy the capture card I need. So my uh, video for my Xbox, for my game play, like my Fallout and everything. Once I get that capture card, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, one of the next things I'm doing is, um... No! Why, Mew? Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it! I battle here in the here in the battle how here in the, the road. Um but yeah the uh what was I gonna say? Um one of the first things I'm doing after I buy that capture card is uh I'm actually going to be buying the DLC for Fallout 3, and I will be playing through Fallout 3, and Fallout 4, and Fallout New Vegas, including all of their DLC all over again. Who knows, I might be able to find a revival right here somewhere. I wonder if I can use soft boil water. So yeah, the uh... So yeah, that is what we're gonna end up doing is um... Once we get Fallout, once we get the game capture card, we are going to be uh, playing through all of that again. Cause we will, you guys will actually be able to see what we're doing more than what you guys can now. Man, what is up with all the crappy items? Usually, elite, the Pokemon, the Victory Road has so many good items. And even this is a randomized game, so... Does that make sense? But yeah, it's... There's like a freak snowstorm going on in my state right now in North Carolina and everyone's panicking and I'm just like I'm from the north it's, why do I care about two three inches of snow when when I grew up when I was younger I walked home in like six feet of snow why do I care why does that even remotely amount to me giving a crap Okay, uh, I need to move some of these boulders. Let's start with this one. If we don't end up finding... Shit. If we don't end up finding the, uh... A revive, then that means we're down to one second. Thank you. We'll sweep the whole elite four. Elite four with Switch um, two to one. So in case we don't find a revive, we can actually heal up Putin. Putin will be higher leveled. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I don't know what I ate, but I guess it's just not sitting.
was obvious. I've done this puzzle so much that I actually know how all of it works. It's the end of that. So that means we do not have two psychic types to be using against the Elite Four. We have the one. We have Hurt and One. Because Hurt and One is best. loves using items. That's like the seventh, that's like the twentieth X defense he's used. This dead one might actually be able to start a uh, goal next week. Oh, 
Hi, I'm Agatha. I am a ghost type trainer. And that's a huge bully. Ha ha ha. survived him. I am like literally shocked about that. We are now on our fourth gym leader. Or our fourth elite for a moment. Doing good. Uh, now this is real this really is a sack play because there's no way he's gonna withstand this. and not killing these easy to kill mods. Wait, whatever he's doing is not working. Oh, he's using barrier. Oh my god, are you seriously gonna make me I don't want to switch out on that uh, something else. Let's get him with something. So I can actually do something. <laughs> Sorry guys. I just need some. Double kick, double kick, double kick, double kick, double kick. Now I really have to skip through this because he's doing nothing. I don't think his tentacruel knows anything other than barrier. So he's not able to do anything to me right now. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this point. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him. I've had enough of that. Enough for wasting my time. Faith, I'm hurt. this whole thing with just hood and one and the rest of my grab bag of the team Draco go cover while I full restore hood good job Draco now wrap it up just wrap 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 thunder wave thunder wave wrap I just wanted to wrap like this. And... Oh, seriously? We have 21 minutes left now. I'm not sure I'm not gonna actually watch this. Then slide. I guess, uh... 
guess we'll just fly back to uh, Cerulean and go check out the uh, Cerulean Cave. And there's nothing else for us to do right now. Let's go see what's in Cerulean Cave, guys. I guess you guys could say I did cheat a little bit. We'll play by the rules when we actually do the uh, Pokemon Go and Monster Nights Live. I feel like that was more balanced than this. What's hilarious, the uh, Hooten that we caught is actually stronger than the one we started out with. It has been so long since I actually did this puzzle. Actually, I have like no idea what I'm doing. Do we actually have ultra balls in case we run across something good? I don't think we do. Doesn't look like we do. So whatever we run across is actually gonna be battle. Hold on guys, give me one sec here. Sorry guys, thought that actually needed something instead of just being annoying. Okay. So I'll have to get that out of the video. I don't know how long I was going for. Oh my seven, so I can watch the whole thing later. Yeah, it's been a while since I did Cool. Yeah, even though I did play through earlier on this, it's been a while since I've actually done swelling and cave. This is a glitch, guys. Check it out. If you go from 
when you go down the path that you guys saw me do, and you come up this ladder right here, you could go down and get stuck on this little rock right here. Then your only way back off of it is to go back down the ladder. As in, I didn't actually know that existed. If you guys knew that existed, let me know. But I didn't know that. But on the one randomizer I did, uh, Mewtwo's Overworld spray was actually red. Which I thought was really hilarious. I'll suck if this isn't Mewtwo, though. I don't have any Pokeballs to catch it. Could be a Moltres, an Articuno, a Zapdos, a Mew, because it could be any other legendary Pokemon. It's Mew. It's level 70 Mew. And it is a tough one. Killed it, so uh, I guess we're gonna call it there, guys. I guess that's the end of the Pokemon Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. We've done everything in the game we brought up, we possibly can do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I realize it's shorter than it should be, but I will see you guys next time.